All artwork created in this video is copyright Leilani Joy. Artwork may not be reproduced without the written consent of the artist. All rights reserved. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Art Nouveau with your host Leilani Joy. This is my video art blog where I document my creative process and give you guys some tips and tricks along the way. Now, you may have noticed that I'm feeling festive today, and I'm really excited to create a new piece. Um, if you saw my last episode where I created Kali here, um, I'm starting on a new series where I'm basically drawing from my favorite muses from mythology, literature, film, just female characters or um, goddesses, things like that, that I really feel a connection to and feel inspired by. So on today's episode, any guesses, any guesses on my muse today? No? No one guessed? Today's episode, I'm going to be doing my own version of the Morrigan, um, which is an Irish goddess from Irish mythology. And um, she's been depicted in a lot of different artwork. And I really love the backstory behind this character. And I've been wanting to do my own version of the Morrigan for a long time. So before I start painting, I want to go ahead and show you guys some of the inspiration that I'm drawing upon, and then we'll start this piece. So a little information on the Morrigan. The Morrigan, or Phantom Queen, or Great Queen, is a figure from Irish mythology. Um, the Morrigan is considered a goddess of battle, strife, and sovereignty, and she often appears in the form of a crow flying over the warriors during um, battle and war. So as you can see here, I've done a bit of research on existing art depicting the Morrigan. And as I've told you guys or warned you guys before um, to be careful about referencing other art when you're creating a piece, I'm actually researching Morrigan art because I want to do something that hasn't been done before and do her in a very different way. So in that case, it's good to do research and kind of see what other artists have done so that way you can make something original. Um, I've also got some pretty cool photo references I found from different sources just to give me a jumping off point on where I want to take this piece. painting by the fire on a cold night. It's like Skyrim in here or something, which is somehow fitting for this painting, I think. I've also got one of my favorite movies on while I paint. Can anyone guess what it is? It was kind of hard for me to go through this footage because I remembered as I was working on this painting, Pokey was still with me and he always loved to sit under me or under my table or desk when I was working and I really miss having him around as moral support. So, miss you Pokey, it's not the same without you.
So I decided here at the last minute to change her mouth shape. Um, I just felt that the emotion I wanted wasn't quite coming through. She had a more of a surprised, like innocent look about her parted lips. So I decided to give her a more sm smirk, um, stern sort of lip here. And finally, I'm also using some gold paint pen and some metallic gold paint so that her headdress here has a nice sheen and kind of shimmer to it. Okay, you guys, well, my painting of the Morrigan is almost finished now. And before I show you how she turned out, just want to tell you a few quick things. Um, first of all, um, how do you feel about black lipstick? I've never worn black lipstick, but I actually have to say that I kind of dig it. Like, I think it's kind of cool. I would totally go out like this. Like, why not, right? <laughs> Anyways, I want to tell you, first of all, that Kali, my original piece, um, is back from her show. And the original is available for purchase. Here's a little uh, detailed shot for you of the original piece. She's in this super cool sort of like East Indian um, frame. She's all ready to hang on your wall and includes a certificate of authenticity and all that good stuff. Um, if you're interested in this piece, go ahead and shoot me an email at sales at leilanijoy.com and um, I can give you the price, what I'm asking for her. And I'm also happy to do payment plans. I've told you guys before. Um, I will also have limited edition canvas reproductions that are a little bit more affordable if you'd like a really cool embellished um, canvas of this piece, which I think I'm going to get for myself because um, it matches my bedroom and it's one of my favorite pieces. Okay, and let me show you, speaking of canvas reproductions, um, I have a few new ones that are going off to their new home and let me just show them to you really quick. And ta-da, you have my canvas reproductions of Odette and Odal here. Um, these are on 16 by 32 canvas, and these go for 260 each. Um, they're limited edition, and these are really cool. These are the first ones um, I've actually done of these, and it looks like it's on wood, which is awesome, but they're obviously a lot lighter, and um, I can. these are bigger than the originals, which are pretty cool. Um, so the first edition is sold, but I still have nine left, so you have a little time. Um, I also do payment plans on these as well, so I'm happy to split that up for you if you'd like to get your hands on um, one of these really awesome canvas reproductions. Um, these originals are already sold, so this is the next best thing. Um, I have a couple more to show you, so let's check those out too. And next up we have a reproduction of Itana. Um, this piece came out super awesome. I, I really wasn't sure because the piece is quite a bit smaller than this, um, but the details really came through on the big canvas. Um, this is also a 16 by 32 canvas, which goes for 260 plus shipping. Um, she'll be on her way to a new home soon, but you can get one of these too. This would be really cool over your bed or over a mantle or something probably. And finally, last but not least, uh, my reproduction of Kamiko that's going to be off to her new home as well. Um, this is an older piece, but I still have a few of these left, so don't forget to order one of her if you'd like that. Um, I also do custom canvas reproductions of all my pieces, so if there's one that you have your heart set on, um, check with me and I can get that made for you. Um, I do know that I only have one left of the Mad Hattress, so if you would like a canvas reproduction of the Mad Hattress, I only have one more. Um, so you should probably get in touch with me quickly about that. Okay, one more thing I wanted to tell you guys before I show you the final piece here is I know you guys always have lots of questions for me. I know there's a lot of questions in the comments here on YouTube, which I'm sorry, I just, I can't read them all. And there's a lot of weird stuff on YouTube sometimes, so I just don't really spend time reading them. Sorry, guys. But if you have something really specific, please email my assistant, Tessa, at admin at leilanijoy.com, and she can answer um, a lot of specific questions for you. Or you can check out my Frequently Asked Questions page where I've answered a lot of the most common questions and I continue to update it whenever I can when I get a lot of the same questions over and over again. Um, I answer everything from art business questions, where I went to school, what kind of training I have, 
why I don't paint boys, why I don't paint cars, why I don't paint landscapes, I've got an answer for you there. You can easily find it by visiting LeilaniJoy.com and clicking on Frequently Asked Questions on the side menu there. It will take you right to the Frequently Asked Questions page. Um, if you have a question about commissions or sales, then I really want to receive that email. So you can email me at sales at LeilaniJoy.com and I'll get back to you right away. Okay, you guys, now without further ado, let's check out how the Morrigan turned out. And remember, you can buy prints of this piece immediately following this episode at etsy.com slash shop slash Leilani Joy Art. And remember, my first 10 prints include a special bonus prize pack, um, including a postcard that I'm going to sign to you and actually do a little hand drawing doodle on it, which is kind of awesome. So don't forget to grab one of those. Okay, I guess I will see you guys on the next episode where we'll take on another muse. I wonder who she'll be. Can you guys guess? I don't know. Okay, let's check out the Morrigan. Before you leave, I thought I would unveil the finished piece and show you guys, ta-da, up close and personal, the finished piece, The Morrigan, by yours truly, Leilani Joy. Um, as you can see, she's already framed and ready to go home with you if you would like to purchase this original. She's 16 by 20, already framed. And here's a little detail shot for you guys. Um, I don't know if you can see this that well, but... Um, the original has like um, gold metallic paint on it, and it has a really cool um, shimmer to the original, which probably doesn't come across in this video too well. But anyway, if you would like to give her a home, please email sales at lilanijoy.com, as you guys already know. Um, yeah, so anyways, there she is. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Oh, before I go, I just want to give a special shout out to some of the awesome artistic fans of mine that sent these incredible fan art portraits of me uh, based on my look in this video. So thank you guys. I love all the fan art. Keep it coming and see you guys next time.